somehow this turned into a Target review video. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and do an audition. Hey everyone, it's Jesse at Games.com here, and today we're at the Target that you see us at all the time. This Target is right in like the audition hub where almost every single one of my auditions is. I've auditioned for a million things here. I'm very familiar with this Target and the double Starbucks, which I've talked about before. There's a Starbucks right there, and then, so Starbucks, go up, and that Target, there's also a Starbucks. So, yeah, and this is also happens to be the place which I actually learned today, is the place where John Barrowman shot like a very viral video where he tried to buy clothes for a homeless person and got kicked out of the Target. Um, and so I'm kind of disappointed that that happened, but I'm sure they shifted man management and stuff then, because all of our experiences with this Target have been very positive, and somehow this turned into a Target review video. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and do an audition. Okay, so we're in the audition room now, and I've got my space buns, and my hair is kind of a mess, because it's, it's been blowing around in the wind, but... It's getting a little Macy Williams reaction happening. Apparently so. Yeah. Um, so I got my script. I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna show you the script. Uh, it's like okay. it's soon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get called in any minute. Dad's going to go on an adventure. Yeah, I'm gonna what? take my walk, do my thing that I do while she does her audition. Yes. Is that your hair or my hair? That's, the thing. That's mine. <laughs> Somehow your hair is hanging in my face. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So we're gonna. She's gonna do this. I'm gonna go walk around a little bit, and then we'll uh, give you kind of a wrap up of how things went. Right. Yeah. Presley's got some new uh, notes that she's gonna try and execute. Audition. That's gonna rattle. I get to rattle yell again, yes. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Okay. Yes. Gone by day. I think so. Okay. So, um, out of the audition, it was my favorite thing about it. I think was that there were all women, which is super nice to see in a production like this. Because usually it's all men, or at least at least there's one man in the stuff I'm auditioning for. But it was all women, which made me super happy. And this from the script that I read seemed like a very women empowering script and so I'm so glad to see that women actually made it um, because one of my biggest fears when I get a script that seems very empowering for women is that um, I walk into a room with all of like the producers and they're all men like um, while I love men uplifting women and stuff it's still probably good to have like a woman on your board about empowering women um, but I really liked it they were super nice we actually talked about the YouTube channel so um, if they're watching it's hello um, but it, we talked about the YouTube channel and it was awesome. They were all super duper sweet and I loved talking to them. I loved the conversation we had about um, after the audition. The audition was super duper fun. And so I've said super duper so many times in this, but it was fun, it was a good time and I really enjoyed this audition and I'm actually really excited to see this when it comes out, whether I'm in it or not, which I know I say about every audition, but this one, but that's just because I'm interested and I do, I work on projects that I'm interested in. And I'm really interested in this and I'm excited to see it go somewhere because I honestly have in, like so much faith that this is gonna go somewhere and this is gonna be big and I said I said that about the main project that I'm currently working on and we are getting there can I say that what you? yeah and we're getting stuff like yeah. we're getting we are actually might be able to do something really big and so I have faith that this is going to be really big and I have instincts that this is gonna do well especially in our climate now and I love it. I love the people that are working on it, and I'm super excited to see it become something. Okay, so I'm back home from the audition. I've had some time to reflect and think about the audition. Obviously, I still love it. Um, and as I said, there were a lot. It was all women in who was talk who were talking to me, and that's a really good sign because all obviously the most high people on the ladder are talking to the actors and auditioning them or casting director is. Um, but usually, in my experience, it's higher ups. Uh, I've getting, been getting more casting directors though. Anyways, these higher up were all women and it made me so happy to see all women in these very high positions and it made me feel very heartened and excited because I love seeing women in higher roles, especially in film. This ties back into the Gina Davis Foundation and all of that kind of stuff, so that made me very happy. Did you just lift heartened from the script? I did. Okay. I just I thought that might be a little wink wink nudge nudge. It was a wink wink nudge nudge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Carry, carry on. Carry on. All right. For Simon Snow. Whoa. Okay. Anyways, um, 
And a lot of you guys have actually been wondering a little bit more about the inside process of the audition. Because I'm sure people sort of know you get a script, you prepare the script, you go into the audition room if you've like done research on it. But not a lot of people talk about the weird inside things. And one of my hot takes that I wanted to give to you guys is that there's this weird nonverbal communication thing, especially in directors and producers and people who are actually working on the project. So you walk into a room. I'm going to use this audition as an example. They said in the breakdown to prepare scene two and three, and they actually ended up changing it like mid audition. Like the aud audition right before mine um, was the first one where they asked us to do all three scenes. And so I prepared the first scene. I already memorized it kind of. Like I didn't put as much effort into it as the other two, but I still had a grasp grasp on what I was saying and the lines in that scene were relatively simple and and they were sort of recurring lines in the whole script which they sent to me so I got it fine and I was off book with that scene so we, I went in and I did the first two scenes and then they all look at each other and it's not like they look at each other and all like and they make a bunch of faces at each other they just look at each other and like maybe nod a little bit and then maybe raise like one eyebrow and then it's sort of if they're, first they're, I think, um, from my experience with this kind of stuff, first is, are we going to keep this girl or are we gonna make her leave now? Because it sort of seemed to me like the cutoff point was if they didn't really like you, they weren't gonna let you do, they weren't gonna make you do a third scene. They were just gonna let you go then. Um, and so they all look at each other and they decided to let me do the third scene. And then they do this election thing where they elect who is going to tell you that you're going to do this or the third scene. Um, and then they sort um, the reader for me nodded and said, okay, let's do the next scene. And then I did the next scene. And then they all looked at each other again. <laughs> and they decided if they were going to let me go after that or if they wanted to have a conversation with me. And so they all look at each other and then they look at each other. Okay, like they nod and then they look at each other again and they say, they're sort of, they don't say, but they're saying to each other, each other like, who is going to tell her to stay or go. And then they elect someone, and then that person sort of takes charge of the audition room and will ask you questions and will have this conversation with you. Um, and for that audition actually went really well, but for other auditions, we'll get through the first two scenes, they'll all look at each other, sort of nod, and then they'll elect who gets to tell you to leave and get out of there. And so then, they always say, and as for kid actors, they're always like, great job, you did really good, sweetie, and then you leave. And you can kind of tell, based on the way they say it, whether they actually liked you or not. Um, but yeah, everyone says that. Which is why one of the faint perils, I guess, of being a child actor is that no one tells you if you did a bad job, ever. No one ever tells you. And it kind of um, bugs me, but so, yeah, they'll elect who gets to tell you to get out, if you, especially if you did not great and the absolute worst feeling I've gotten so far working at in the acting business is when you do one scene and you have like two other scenes to do they all look at each other and then you can and there's this weird tension in the room and then someone looks at you and tells you to leave um well they're not like get out of here but you know um that's one of the worst feelings but yeah that nonverbal communication thing feels like it takes forever when you're in the room and it's happening in the room where it happens um but it actually doesn't take that long and it's really it's kind of weird to me because there's obviously like my best closest friend who i've known for a while i can like nonverbally communicate with because we've just picked up on our mannerisms and what facial expressions means because we've known each other for a really long time but these people who are working together on this one project who probably who might have known each other for a really long time but um like casting direct especially if there's a casting director and like a producer in the room those two people probably haven't known each other for like nine years and so it's they have this communication thing going on and i really want to like study it and learn what it means <laughs> uh but anyways that is my rant thing about nonverbal communication in directors it's scary it's very very scary but it's really really cool and i don't mean like it's dis not encouraging because it actually is more encouraging because you can start to learn pick up on the um, energy in the room and sort of what they're saying to each other and that's really cool it's really cool and it's just this awesome thing behind the scenes thing that i'm picking up on as an actor from them as directors and writers and stuff like that i think it's really cool it's like solidarity we're both in this business and we're both doing our own thing and it's really cool thank you so much for watching make sure to press the subscribe button to see more videos like this and i'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>